Hey everybody, I'm back. Welcome to Sipping with Sheer Magic. I'm glad that you can join me for this little session um, while I run my mouth for a little bit. And as always, what are you sipping on? What do you have in your cup today? As always, I love my vodka. A little extra something in there. So um, before I jump on to the topic I want to talk to you guys about... As always, I have a bedroom candy product to show you. This is our Man Arrows line. And this one right here is the body spray. And it smells amazing. When I take this to parties and the women open to smell it, they just love it. They want their man to smell like Arrows by Bedroom Candy. And the men love it too. My husband loves it. He uses it. And this is our lotion. Once again, it smells amazing. It lasts a long time, too, so I don't know if you can see it, but you don't have to use a whole lot of it. You know, men want to drown their self and stuff, but um, don't use a whole lot of it. It'll last you for a long time. Put this back on here tightly. But you can moisturize your hands, your face, and everything. And this is from our men's line, and we also have a, um, a body wash in that men's line as well so if you would like your man to smell like bedroom candy arrows please visit my website at www.bedroomcandy.com slash 10852 don't forget the 10852 so i just want to talk to y'all about the prices of stuff nowadays oh my god every freaking thing is going up it is like raising like ridiculous i look at receipts from a while back and i look at you know like you could use go to the grocery store and you can spend this amount of money or that amount and you have a whole bunch of groceries now you barely even got any groceries you spend a hundred dollars and that's not gonna last you depending on if you got a family or you know if it's just you or whatever the case may be that's not gonna last you for a whole week because you really don't hardly have nothing you have to like really try to stretch it out try to you know um i i tried to meal prep before but um, I didn't like it. I mean, I, I did the, like the chicken or something, or just say you take chicken and then you do your sides and stuff with it. And then you break it up for the week. And then therefore that you can have it. I was even trying to do my breakfast, you know, like cook the sausages and stuff at night and then just, you know, grab them, take them to work for lunch, you know, for breakfast the next day. But, um, I didn't like meal prepping. It was just, it wasn't a whole bunch of work, but I got tired of eating the same food, like after day three. And I'm just like, okay, let me switch it up and do maybe chicken and pork chops or if I do tuna or, you know, salmon or fish or something like that. But um, I really didn't like the meal prep thing. And I try to really do it. I did it for like, I want to say a month. I think I did it for like a month. And after that, I was like, I'm good. I'm like, maybe somebody else can show me. My nephew does meal prep. So I'm like, maybe somebody can show me something different. But um, as far as the same foods and everything. So I try to save money that way. Um, I try not to eat out. It's hard. Because when I'm on the go, 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 you know, it's easy to just grab something, but that gets expensive and it adds up really quick too. And so the other day I was at the grocery store and they had like the family size of chicken wings, which my bonus son and, and my husband can eat them by themselves. I mean, it's not enough for a big family, especially a family of five, but um, they had the pack of chicken wings for $22. $22, y'all. I was like, who in the world is buying these damn chicken wings? I mean, even the bag nowadays, like back, they used to be like, I want to say six, seven dollars or something. Um, but but now, well, then they wind up being like 10. But now if you try to get the bag of wings and stuff, which is half the bag is gone, it's just a bunch of air, and they're $16. I'm like, I remember barbecues and stuff. That'd be the first thing people be like, I got the wings. They bring the wings and stuff. You could just take a bag of wings and make it happen. Now it is so freaking expensive. Um, Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree is about to go up. They, they've been a dollar forever, forever in a day. And I do crafting, and so I like to go get my crafts and stuff there and, you know, different things and stuff, but... Um, they're about to go up as well. Um, if you go to the gas station, I mean, it's ridiculous. I looked at the price of gas and I work in another state. I work in Kansas and live in Missouri. And so Kansas gas is always higher. So I always make sure I get gas in Missouri. But even with that, Missouri's gas is high. I'm like, these truck drivers, they're not getting people to, um, they're not 
people are not getting truck driving jobs like they're not working so it's delaying a lot of things for as far as food as far as things that people need um and so they talk about the demand and all this other stuff is part of the reason why, you know, prices and stuff is going up. Um, somebody was even we was talking about the liquor store, like there there was like empty shelves at the liquor store because they haven't got an order in. And I'm like, y'all about to make these people go crazy. If y'all can't get no damn alcohol in like this is bananas. And I just I don't know. It's, it's just crazy world that we're living in. All the stuff we're going through, all the things that we're dealing with, even like today, a, uh, um, what am I trying to say? Um, an outage with social media. You know, I try to get on there earlier to post some of my shirts, some of my bedroom candy products because it's a new month for us. So we can start getting going. I'm trying to recruit, get a new team, um, build my team. And so I get on there and try to get things going and stuff. And I'm like, well, dang, am I the only one, you know, having issues with Facebook? And somebody else like, no, I'm having issues with Facebook and Instagram. And it was some other thing they was having issues with. And I said, they done got an outage uh, with social media because of something that happened. I don't know. I, I'll i listen to the news later. But, um, yeah, it, it's just crazy. I just, I'm not understanding what's going on. I didn't ever think in all the years of my life I'd be experiencing something like this, you know, I know stuff go up and, you know, it'll be a little bit pricey, but some of this stuff, it just like, it just jumped up. It doubled boxes of cereal, like what, almost $5 a box, you know, bread, almost $4. My grandmother back in the day, she would give us money to go to the grocery store for, she would have a list and she would give us money to go to the grocery store. She knew the price of everything and she would always want change. She's like, I want my change back. And so, um, you had to make sure you had change and you look at the price of stuff back then and you just like, God, oh, that stuff, you know, was cheap, but to some people it was expensive, you know, especially if you had a big family. And so as we got older and everything, I was looking at things and stuff and we was talking one time and I was like, big mama, you know, them sausages that you like, they're this price or, you know, this, this and that and stuff. And so she would be talking about like back in her day, the price of stuff. And I used to be laughing at everything because I was like, I wish stuff was that cheap the way it used to be. Like, I don't know if most people remember the bakery. Do y'all guys remember going to the bakery and you can get like bread, you can get like um the donuts, the um all kind of stuff. And I mean, we would have bags at the bakery, like bread, um, Susie Q's and juices and all kind of stuff. They don't even have bakeries, not that I know of, but they don't even have bakeries around anymore. So you're stuck with going to the grocery store, you know? And so um, it just makes me laugh when like the, the older people, you know, talk about the prices of stuff and how things used to be. And now we're, I'm older and I'm just looking at things like, dang, but who's to say four or five, you know, years from now, things ain't going to be totally different. I'm like, dang, I remember when gas was two ninety nine a gallon. You know, when I started driving, I think gas was like 89 cent a gallon, maybe 90 cent, something like that. And I used to always be like, um, okay, y'all got to put in on gas. I don't care if it's $2 a piece. Like, tell my friends, like, y'all got to put in on gas and we about to be rolling all over town and stuff. Like, I need gas money. And it would fill my tank up. Like, once we all pitch in and stuff, now I drive an SUV. I'm good if I can do $40, $45, you know. And um, that's trying to drive back and forth to work, run my errands, do what I need to do and stuff like that. And I just was like, man, if we could go back in time when we were younger, and the prices and stuff, I would just probably be like, yeah, I need them prices right now because lights, gas, everything. It's just, it's just crazy. It's just crazy at how things are. And, um, I just tell, you know, tell myself like, okay, just figure it out. Um, you know, grocery shop this time. One thing I don't like doing is going to the grocery store every other day or, you know, I try to have the things that I need now milk. I'm not big on milk. Um, but my kids drink a lot of milk. And so, if it's somewhere you need to go to the store to grab some milk or something like that, you know, then that's cool. But um, I try to go maybe once a week, you know, and, and that's not like stocking, stocking up. That may be if I need something or if it's a sale at the store and, you know, the sale goes on for a week or whatever the case may be. Um, sometimes twice, not not too much, but um, just try to stock up, try to make sure the deep freezer is good. Um, people say you got to stock up on meats, you got to stock up on water. Um you got to stock up on things that's important, like canned goods. And then I rotate my canned goods. So when I go to the store, um, if I go buy new canned goods, the ones in the back 
come forward and the other ones, they go to the back. So therefore they don't get old and I don't forget about them. And um, even with boxes of like noodles and beans, different things, I just rotate things out. Um, or if I haven't used them in a while, I try to make sure I cook beans or, you know, cook something up like that. But um, I just remember back in the day when my mama used to cook, she'd make a big old pot of spaghetti. we eat off that spaghetti for a couple of days. Then she'd make a big old pot of like neck bones and, you know, stuff that's going to last. In the um, wintertime, she'd make a big pot of chili and cinnamon rolls and we have crackers and um, we ate off that, you know. And if you didn't want it, then you just didn't eat. It wasn't different options and stuff. Just like I don't like meal prepping because it's eating the same thing over and over. We didn't have options back in the day. You ate what the hell was on that table and that was it. And so now that we have options, it's just like, dang, am I ungrateful? Like, you know, I got to, you know, try to do this and do that and stuff. Because one thing about me is that when I go grocery shopping <laughs> and I bring the food home and I unpack everything and I put everything together and then I have the vacuum seal for my meat. So I have to leave the meat out so I can vacuum seal everything, put everything in the deep freezer, other freezer and stuff. I go buy something to eat. I don't cook. <laughs> Because I'm already tired from grocery shopping. I'm like, I don't want to stand another hour and cook nothing. So I'll just go buy something and just be like, okay, this is dinner. This is what I'm going to have, you know. But that's the difference from growing up back in the day and you didn't have that option. You know, your mama went grocery shopping. You know, you pulled out something and you cooked it and you had it then and stuff. And so um, I just really try to be grateful. I, I, I try to you know, thank God for everything that I have, my, my food and electricity, like you get mad about bills and stuff. But if you don't have a light bill, if you don't have a gas bill, then guess what? Then you don't have a place to live. You don't have anything. So you have to keep grinding, keep doing what you got to do to make sure you got groceries, you got food, you got gas, you got all the necessities that you need and want. Because I was looking at stuff and I was like, my goodness, this stuff is high. And then I'm like, the prices of at Dollar Tree haven't went up yet. But the lady said that she don't know when they're going to go up. But I bet you they're going to go up right before the holidays and stuff. You know, I'm sure they're going to do that. And so, um, but yeah, I just wanted to come on and tell y'all that. And just, you know, these prices of stuff and, you know, sometimes they're out of our control. Um, we need the stuff. We got to have it. So what are we going to do? We're not going to eat. We're not going to have lights. We're not going to have gas, you know. People are trying to travel with all this COVID stuff going on. And it's crazy. It's dangerous. Some people are traveling. I haven't traveled yet. Um, but a lot of people are, you know, trying to really be careful. And um, I think when everybody was locked down, it's like now that we're free, we can get out. We're just getting out of here. We're going this place. We're going that place and stuff. And, you know, some people are wearing their masks. Some people's not. That's their business, you know. But um, it's just, you know, just trying to live, you know, just trying to live your life and be great, you know, what they say, you only get one, so got to do what we got to do to keep on going, y'all, and hopefully these prices will go down a little bit, we'll see what happens, but, so anyway, I'm glad that y'all tuned in with me, um, I can't wait for next week's topic to see what I have up my sleeve, and um, just to see what uh, we'll talk about next week, I hope you guys be safe, um, and let me shout out my YouTubers for you guys to follow the uh, ZR Family Flex, the D Made Family. They are hilarious, both of them. Um, Black Voice, I am Vicky. You know, go support, follow them. I'm gonna shout different people out. If I shout the same people out, then that's fine too. Um, go like, subscribe, um, my channel, uh, comment, especially comment what y'all drinking on. And so, um, just 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 be great just do what you have to do and sorry i think i had a call come in so i hope y'all heard me um but yeah so take care of yourself be safe and i will see y'all next week okay sheer magic out until next time